OK, let's start with Marco Rubio's reaction to the results in New Hampshire. Data inaccurate, does not compute. Yep, Rubio is paying for one bad night he'll never forget. And let's dispel once and for all with this fiction that Barack Obama doesn't know what he's doing. But I would add this, let's dispel with this fiction that Barack Obama doesn't know what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. The memorized 30 second speech where you talk about how great America is at the end of it doesn't solve one problem for one person. This notion that Barack Obama doesn't know what he's doing is just not there true. There it is. He knows exactly what he's doing. There it is, the memorized 25 second he, speech. Well, that's the, that's there the it reason is, everybody. why this Marco Rubio is not a robot, but he played one on TV. Go Marco! Barack Obama knows exactly what he's doing! Barack Obama knows exactly what he's doing! And he could not live that down. And when your campaign literally has to fight off a robot invasion, it just does not look good. Rubio is trying to move past his humiliation in New Hampshire, and he keeps saying that he's focused on the next two weeks. But it didn't help when they caught him trying to sneak out of New Hampshire in disguise. Have you brought any fruits or vegetables onto the planet? Two weeks. Excuse me? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> When you recycle canned statements and your opponent makes fun of you for it and you respond by recycling the same canned statements again, your opponents can make you look robotic. The single greatest nation in the history of all mankind. The greatest nation in the history of mankind. The single greatest nation. The single greatest nation in all mankind. You have to wonder what gave Rubio the notion that he could deflect the heat just by repeating unrelated canned statements and still expect to win. Do you think it was a problem to have on-duty law enforcement there? I'm very appreciative of both their support and those that come to my events. You didn't answer that question. Should there be discipline? Look, I'm, I'm appreciative of very, everybody that comes to my events. I guess Rubio just learned what may pass in Florida won't fly when you're running for president. I will never embarrass you. But he did, and he knows it. I know many people disappointed. I'm disappointed. It's on me. I did not do well on Saturday night. That will never happen again. That will never happen again. Happen again. Happen again. 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 Okay, we added those last few. But remember, Rick Perry only totally blanked out one time. <laughs> Oops. And Howard Dean only screamed like a maniac one time. Ah! Like that Howard. Ah! So now Marco Rubio is on thin ice because he looks silly and fed a narrative that he's programmed at a time when voters crave authenticity. I left my last page of the speech. Does anybody have my last page? <laughs> so unlike his water gaffe, Rubio cannot laugh this off, even if he claims all the water shorted out his circuits. I think I just drank Clint Eastwood's water. Thank you.